Good morning, Paul Paul class. Lovely to see you again. Goodness me, I can't believe where the weekends are going. These weeks are flying by. It's been such a long time since we saw you all. Never mind, I'm sure schools will be open just as soon as it's safe to do so. So that'll be lovely. Anyway, this week's story I've chosen is The Tiger Who Came to Tea. Now, it's one of my favourite stories and my girls used to love me reading this to them when they were little. So let's begin the start. The Tiger Who Came to Tea. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly there was a ring at the door. Sophie's mummy said, oh, I wonder who that could be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day that he comes. And it can't be daddy because he's got his own key. You better open the door and see. Sophie opened the door and there was a big, very stripy tiger. The tiger said, excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have some tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course you can, come on in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't take just one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them up in one big mouthful. <laughs> and he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. But again, the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the, in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. Oh, God, oh gosh. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all the food in the fridge. And all the packets and tins in the cupboard. Oh, that's me. And he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all daddy's beer and all the water in the tap. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And off he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing left for daddy's supper. The tiger is eating it all. No, poor daddy. And Sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to a cafe. So they went into the dark and all the street lamps were, were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a cafe. And they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food just in case the tiger should ever come to tea again. But he never did. The end. Oh, what a lovely story. How funny is that? I wonder, what would you think if a tiger came to tea in your house? Hmm, I wonder what your mummies or daddies and families would think. Oh, golly gosh, I'm not sure what I would say if a tiger came to knock on my door and asked to come for tea. I don't think I've got enough food for him, really. Anyway, I'm going to be sending you lots of lovely jobs to do all about this story this week. And I can't wait to see all your lovely photos and videos. Stay safe, everybody. Have a lovely, lovely week. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye for now.